Now, Pokemon is a subject that I know absolutely zero about. But somehow I was kind of curious to check out this Detective Pokemon movie. Detective Pokemon? No, Detective Pikachu. See, that's how little I know about the subject matter. But I still had a lot of fun checking this movie out. You know, it has a really good story, some great special effects, and a hell of a lot of fun in its short runtime. It just kind of packs a punch. We have this character of Tim, who discovers that his father has died in a car accident. He goes to get, so he get his belongings, arrange uh, things that need to be arranged, and discovers that he's embroidered in a mystery. His father may not be dead. He teams up with uh, Pikachu, who he discovers that he has a connection with and is able to talk to and they go to try and figure out what has happened to his father, what's behind it all, the mystery and one of the great things about it was is I was really involved within the mystery itself. It's not as clear cut as you would think straight away. I didn't know how it was going to pan out and that, although it may seem like a small thing, is great because of these movies that are aimed towards like teenagers or kids, you can sometimes see them being a little bit patronising and, and giving all the information away but they kept the twists and they made them re relevant to the story and made it a hell of a lot of fun. The idea of this world where Pokemon are real characters and are ingrained amongst the society was a really fun environment to see how they were used, uh, how they took part within the society was fun um, and really interesting to check out. The character of Tim uh, is pretty decent you know, he's a kid who's had uh, past traumas with a parent dying, he's bringing them up again, he has to reconcile his differences with his dead father uh, throughout the movie while attaching himself to uh, Pikachu and how he always wanted to be a Pokemon trainer but that kind of got put away from the wayside and it, it, it's just a simple kind of setup, but it's really well done and that's something that I'm appreciating more than more these days. You know, movies that know exactly what they are, know what they're aiming for, and do their job very well. You know, it doesn't break the mould of this kind of setup, this story of a, a, a son trying to discover what his father was up to, and the mystery behind it all. It feels familiar in certain parts, and it has certain tropes along the way of those. But it was great, and it has some really fun set pieces as well. The Me Too... Uh, the Mewtwo, Mewtwo, Mewtwo. See, again, I'm showing my lack of uh, understanding of the Pokemon characters. Uh, it was a great character, uh, really just domineering uh, and powerful, and you get an idea of that. You get the, the bad guys who are notably seen chewing monsters. You get some uh, terrific moments where um, Pikachu and Tim are trying to question a mime, which is one of the most silliest scenes in the movie, but also one of the most fun. I had a great deal of time with that. And, and that, again, this movie just made me smile. I, and I, like I said a couple of times, I know nothing about Pokemon. I think, I think I may know less than nothing about Pokemon, but I could still go into this movie knowing nothing and getting a hell of a lot of enjoyment out of the characters, the design, the scenes. There is a jaw-dropping um, earth quake twist scene that uh, special effects are just outstanding. The characters feel real. The look of the fur and all that and Pikachu was just fantastic. It, I know these are small things but they're done exceptionally well which is the whole case of the movie. It's a good movie, done exceptionally well. I can highly recommend it if you're looking for some good family entertainment. Look no further. Pokemon Detective Pikachu is here to fit that bill. I'd love to know your thoughts on the movie. Let me know in the comment box below and I'll see you next time on Man vs Film.